Hello guys and welcome to another video. The Hero is a second suspension wheel from Bigot. Their first wheel was the Bigot EX, which was in my opinion the best suspension wheel versus the V11 and the S18. Unfortunately, this wheel was not well advertised and it ended up in not being a commercial success. The Bigot Hero is now the second generation of suspension wheels from Bigot and I'm gonna review it. First, shout out to Alien Rides for providing me this wheel. I really appreciate you guys for thinking out of the box and helping me with this video. So what are the specs of the wheel? The Hero has a battery of 1800 watt hour, 100 volt. According to the specs, it has a max range of 50 to 60 miles. I'll discuss about it later. The motor is 2800 watt. The wheel is available in high torque and high speed version. Here I'm reviewing the high torque one. It has a 20 inch tire using the standard Bigot CST Nobi tire. The first time you look at the Hero, you must admit that the quality of the wheel is quite great. The shell shape, the trolley handle, the side pass, the pedals, everything says quality. The shell of the wheel is quite sturdy and it can take a lot of beatings. The wheel looks like a mix of the traditional Bigot wheels and the new ones. It still has a bit of a shell, but basically it's based on the suspension system, except that they put a half shell on top of that, and then the pad sitting on the battery packs. The wheel is quite tall, but at the same time, it's slim. On top of the wheel, you can find the screen, the same screen that is present on the master. That screen is quite visible, just in kilometers and not in miles. On the middle of the wheel, there is a trolley. The trolley is the best one I've ever seen in any wheel. It's metallic and quite sturdy. On top of the wheel, you also have a power button, a lift cutter switch, and a speaker. The top shape of the wheel is convenient to use as a seat. The Hero is also equipped with the Bigot CNC spike pedals. For me, these are the best pedals on the market and I got them on all my wheels. So I find it really great that Bigot decides to put these pedals by default. At the front of the wheel, you have the headlights. As usual, for all the Bigot wheels, the headlight is not great. On the back of the wheel, there is a kickstand that is quite efficient. And finally, on the sides of the wheel, you have some Bigot pads. These pads complete the shape of the wheel and I didn't find them really great. I don't like to be locked to my wheel, so this one will not lock you, but at the same time, they don't provide you any leverage on the wheel. When you unfold the trolley, it has a middle position that will cut off the balancing of the wheel. I think they did that so that you can just put the wheel on a kickstand more easily. It's a bad idea actually, because when you want to unfold fully the wheel, you can accidentally stop the balancing of the wheel. I'm not a big fan of this. Also, regarding the headlights, you can't fully shut them off. They are always on. So if you want to trolley your wheel discreetly, it's not great because some lights will always be on and make your wheel more noticeable. Speed-wise, this is a high torque wheel, so it means that the wheel starts to beep at 36 miles per hour. So it doesn't give you a lot of headroom for people who want to go very fast. The Hero has a lot of battery sag. It means that once you're not at full battery, you could even end up starting to beep from 30 miles per hour. At the same time, you have a really good torque on that wheel. The acceleration is really powerful and fast. So how is the suspension on the Bigot Hero? This is the third Bigot wheel with suspension that I try and I start to understand how they think suspension should be. Basically, the suspension on the Hero is like a bump dampener. It's not like the V11. You don't have a floaty feeling, you will feel the road and it will just reduce the jarring effect of the bumps. And that's exactly what the Bigot Hero does. On top of this, the pedals are really low. I was really pleasantly surprised by this because on the master, the pedals are really high. So high that for me, it kind of ruins my riding experience. So I'm quite surprised to see such low pedals on the suspension wheels. And it makes me wonder, why did they need to put high pedals on the master? Why did they need to do that? I don't really understand. It came to a point that I prefer to ride the Bigot Hero versus the master just because of the pedal height. So, so far, the suspension of the Bigot Hero is not bad at all, provided you know what to expect. So in conclusion, who is this wheel for? 
To me, the Bigot Hero is a good commuter wheel. It's made of extremely good quality, good suspension. Since it's a high torque wheel that starts beeping from 36 miles per hour, it won't be a speed demon wheel. However, the high torque will be quite efficient in traffic. It's a good commuter wheel that will bring you from point A to point B in a comfortable way thanks to its suspension. I forgot to mention as well an excellent point of this wheel. It's a really great rain wheel. That is why I'm saying the Bigot Hero is an excellent commuter wheel. Because you can use it every day, sunny weather or rainy weather. You will be able to ride the wheel in any conditions. And that is something really worth noticing. The range of the wheel is also quite acceptable, but I didn't experience the range of the specs. During a group ride, I did a 15 miles ride. I started at full battery and at the end of the ride, I had 50% battery left. I consider that the range of this wheel is closer to the 35 miles. In terms of ride feeling, I really enjoy riding the Bigot Hero. The pedal reaction is quite nice. The shape of the wheel is not too wide, so it makes the wheel uh, very nimble. The no BCST tire that I used to hate on the Master is actually not bad at all with a lower PSI on this wheel. It's just because the pedals are lower. So the whole experience in riding this wheel for me is quite positive. I find it interesting that for the following wheels like the EX20S or the Beyond Master, Bigotet didn't upgrade instead the Bigot Hero and went with complete different wheels. I mean, at first I can understand because the advertised price for the Hero was quite unacceptable at first, but now it's kind of on par with the Master. For speed demons, I think the high speed version will be a better fit, but for normal commuters or even trail riders, the high torque version is an excellent choice. I'm leaving you now with some bonus footage. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.